Hey y'all, it's uh, about 11 o'clock on a Sunday night. Uh, out in the garage, uh, tore the rest of the motor apart, got the crank out of it, and uh, started uh, taking an assessment of what was going on. The cylinder looks really good. I mean, it, it looks, uh, it doesn't look any different than it did when we ran the home to it at the track and uh, cleaned up the piston and, and put it back together. So the cylinder didn't get hurt at all, not even a scratch. Um, as a matter of fact, the piston itself, um, skirt-wise, looks really good. Uh, the ring's locked up because it's, it's been compacted with garbage around that uh, squish band. So the piston's junk, but um, no damage to the cylinder at all. We took some measurements. Um, we might have opened it up just a little bit um, because it, it had a four-position a four stick, a four-corner stick. Uh, there in Saturday morning in practice. We opened up just a little bit just to give it a little room. Johnny thought it looked like it was it was just an issue of it being tight. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're going to go. We were on a 53.95 piston. We're going to go to a 53.96. And uh, I'm on the internet here right now. Like I said, it's about 5 minutes to 11 o'clock at night. Let me uh, just get you right on down in here. Here we are. Uh, it's 4.56 in the morning. In uh, <clears throat> where are we at uh, Italy, uh, <laughs> uh, what's the name of this? Bersini, Bersini. Is that the name of the city? What's the name of the city again? I typed it in here somewhere. Grassina, Italy, is where this uh, this uh, place called uh, Mondo Cart racing.com mondocart.com it's a big huge warehouse of go-kart parts man and they got uh they got everything this is my shopping cart right here uh they got everything you could possibly want um i opened another window here just so i could show you uh let me go right back to the beginning and uh i mean everything for uh every brand of motor you could possibly think of you got your tm parts uh, look at this. Uh, they, they got everything uh, for all the new stuff. K10C, K10B, K10, R1, uh, ignition gear. Sh I mean, everything. Just everything you want. Then they got K9C, uh, K9B, K9, K8, K7, KV95, and KV92 parts. Uh, all the way down to some of this other stuff, which might even be air cooled stuff. Um, then, of course, they got the, uh, Amy, uh, the whole line of IAMI stuff motors and what have you uh the x30 shifters the 175 the screamers of of different uh the reedster 125 reedster uh the leopard uh, everything you can all the vortex models i'm a little slow here with the computer but the all can all the uh, vortex stuff um for everything i need as well rotax I don't know what this LKE is, but uh, they got Modena parts, Maxter parts, Comer, uh, Paralyn Intrepid Top Cart, all chassis stuff. Um, they even got uh, Pavese parts in here as well. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They got everything. And uh, some of it, they also have what's known as uh, generic cart parts. So let me see if I can get that up real quick. Uh, engine and accessories is that where we got to go yeah and this is generic engine parts so here you got your IAMI parts Vortex TM BMB Bluebird whatever it is Rotax LKE Comer Modena Maxter WTP Pavese but you go up here to this generic thing generic energy and they got everything man they have uh, aftermarket rods that are nice knife edge rods they look really nice and relatively cheap um, so I'm waiting actually for them to return an email when they all get to work over there this morning in another couple few hours and let me know if the uh, the connecting rod kit that I was looking at will actually fit my motor because it's it's listed for an IAMI uh, screamer and uh, and a Maxter, 
it's still 110 millimeters, but we got to make sure it's the right width. I know it's the pin sizes are right. It's a 15 millimeter top, so it'd be 19 millimeter on the on small end of the rod, and it should be 26 for a 20 millimeter uh, pin. And I know it's a 20 millimeter pin, so I'm just waiting to see if uh, they return my email and uh, let me know. I already registered. I've already got the basket going, as you saw. Um, unbelievably cheap. Unbelievably cheap. Inexpensive. Pistons. This is a Meteor piston. I've run Meteor pistons for years. Uh, good quality stuff. And uh, literally nothing. What are they charge? 49, just over 49 euro, which is like 52 bucks or 55 bucks or something. Uh, I think I got it in the con converter here. What did I say? 47? 49.17. Uh, 49.17 in Euro is uh, $55.17 US. Not bad. Uh, that's half off. That's piston, ring, pin, and clips for a, for a, a brand name piston like just like Vert there is well known as Vertex um, or anybody else uh, the meteor pistons good stuff so um, that's what I'm doing it's uh, like as it's 11 o'clock it'll probably be 3 o'clock in the morning here before it's 9 a.m. there so we won't stay up all night but um, just got uh, got the uh, parts all lined up here um, Got a couple extra reeds, super duper cheap, 13 euro, dude, unbelievable, 30 bucks, 2704, $30 US for two carbon fiber reeds. I'm paying 65 bucks for those from, from uh, Carbon Tech. Uh, what I did notice is I went through the whole, the whole process here of, uh, you know, doing the signing in and getting your account and then doing the address and the shipping address and all that, and then got to the payment. And I don't know if you saw this here. Let me roll down. F uh, five dollars, five euro ninety nine cents. Uh, that's uninsured. For insured, it's uh, I think it's nineteen ninety nine, which is about twenty two bucks U S. For insured worldwide shipping, four to ten days it'll be here. So uh, not a bad gig. Um, if all this works out, we should be able to get parts here. Crank off to get re uh, rebuilt. We'll probably send it to Rich Servone. Uh, better call him and make sure he's got the old bench top cleared off, right? And um, we'll uh, we'll get a we'll get a big radiator on the back of the go kart first and get that worked up while we're waiting for parts and pieces and motor, you know, crank to get done and all that stuff. So we should, God willing, have uh, everything ready to go for Gingerman in about six weeks. Six, six weeks and five days. <laughs> um, that's it. We thought we were completely out of business there, but uh, because this uh, stuff is so cheap, and I have to thank John West. John tells me, Robert, I have Pavese rod kits. I've had them for a while. I got them from Wally Wallen, uh, you know, back when they were doing the USSK stuff, and, and Dennis Bernier and Joey West, John's son, was running the 125 Supercar class with the USSK guys. Um, they, they were putting Pavese rods in those KB95s because they're 110 millimeter rods. And uh, he's got these kits. And he told me, just look up, find the cheapest price you can find out there on the internet and then let me know. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and, and do the crank for you. And John is, is busy right now. He's, he's full bore on that project for Daytona. And I don't want, I, don't, I want his best work. And he can't do his best work if he's in a hurry and if his mind is on something else. And I don't blame him. I mean, we're buddies. I, I get it. I understand. So um, him and Richard buddies, me and Richard buddies, um, we're all go-kart guys. John's not going to get upset, I'm sure. Um, I, he probably wishes he could do it, and I wish he could too. But um, just not going to work out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll probably get the parts and send it off to Rich and get it done. And uh, we'll get it back and get this thing together. Yeah, it's the old motor. We're not putting a new motor together. Uh, we still have plans to, uh, to to hopefully to hop up the new motor. So um, you never know. We uh, we may end up skipping Daytona just so we can do this two cart thing. Cause the, the the cart I have now will get new body work. Um, it'll get uh, new new paint. Um, 
along with the other car getting built up and getting new body work and paint as well. So uh, that's a lot to do uh, between now and, and Christmas. So uh, we could probably get the existing car ready to go, but the new car, no, there's no way I could get that thing together and, uh, and ready to go. So um, that's it. That's it for now. Waiting on an uh, email from mindocart.com to find out if this uh, Ivy Screamer slash Maxter KZ uh, rod will fit our RVS motor. And if it will, we're in like twin. God bless y'all. Isn't the internet wonderful? It can be a positive thing. 118 euro minus the rod. God bless y'all.